There's a video going around on TikTok of a woman who she didn't want a baby. Um, she got pregnant and the guy literally pleaded and cried on his, on his, he just cried and said, please. He basically said, keep this baby. She didn't want to and she should not have done that. Anyway, she kept the baby. After two years of having this baby, she's realized that she's doing the majority of the work and she's not on it. She signed her rights over to, um, the baby father's mother and said, you look after this child. Men and their numerous manipulative tactic. Baby trapping is a strategy that a good number of men use to keep women in relationship and continually have access to them. Some women are of the opinion that no woman can be baby trapped. Do you think a woman can be baby trapped, made pregnant when she doesn't want to get pregnant? It's funny because, you know, they always say that women are the ones that trap men with babies, but that's not the truth. It's men who trap women's babies. Hello fam, welcome back to my channel. How you all doing? Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe. Thank you for your support. Let me answer the last question I asked. Do you think a man can baby trap a woman? My answer is yes. That is possible. A lot of men out there are doing that. Women don't trap men with babies. We get trapped with babies. I understand a good number of people might not agree with me. Feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comment section and please also add your reasons for thinking that way. How can you trap a man with a baby when men can just walk away with no consequences? Nobody talks shit about single fathers. As a matter of fact, they praise single fathers. But single mothers, single mothers, they are the scourge of the earth. They are the reason why everything is fucked up. Oh, they're the reason why this next generation is it. So how can you trap a man with a baby when a man can just get up and leave? No problems, no harm, no foul. The baby father put this video online to make her look like a bad mother, but it backfired. And people are now realizing that, yeah, these mothers that, the mothers that are walking away, the mothers that are signing their rights over, they're actually giving them sympathy and saying, do you know what? I know how hard it is. I get it. Like, I'm not here to judge. Like, I, I fully get it. But they want people to judge us for leaving the kids when they're doing the same thing. His thing was, oh, I go to work, this, that, and the other. She can't live her life. He promised her he was going to help her. He's not helping her. So when she turns around and gives over the rights, she's a bad mother. So understand, they do this to trap you. They do this to um, keep you stuck with the child. And then when you decide to leave and you think, you know what, I'm not getting trapped with the kid. I'm giving up my rights. I, I'm not going to raise this kid. Then you're the bad mother. The focus of this video is on men revealing how other men baby trap women. Things men will never tell women, but are very obvious. Yes, a man is crazy enough to get you pregnant all for the sake of keeping you stagnant or trapping you. A lot of women consistently ask me this question all the time. And my answer is, fuck yes, they are crazy enough to do it. Some of them, though. A lot of these men ain't even allergic to latex. They just want the satisfaction of knowing that they touched your inside. They've been absolutely lying to y'all for years just to feel the real thing. Because misery likes company and a man like this will create the silliest goals at the expense of you. Is he crazy enough to get me pregnant and not give a fuck about me? Yes. <laughs> and the crazy sad part of fucking with a guy like this is that you were just the unlucky one. Because usually men like this are the ones that get turned down a lot and only get lucky on rare occasions. So what do they do? They tend to take advantage of that opportunity. They realize some of y'all were easy targets to shed their misery off onto. They usually scare or intimidate most women off because of the lack of self-control that they have. And whatever woman becomes an option that chooses to stay, they make their life a living hell. And on that occasion, they're playing process of elimination and know that which woman is the most patient. If they know that you're a woman who's caring with a big heart and gullible enough, they also know how to manipulate and don't weasel their way out of getting the stuff from you without actually giving a fuck about the kid that they helped create. A man like this will be more than willing to get you pregnant just to keep you stagnant just so he can have the whole kitty cat to himself. Like I know you got dreams and aspiration, love, but to him it's fuck your dreams. Sit around that phone until I call you to get what I want from you. That's usually the thought process going through his mind when he's in the middle of doing it. I know, right? Sinister. Now you're probably wondering, that can't be the reason. You're probably looking for a whole other layer to this whole scheme. But that's what got you here in the first place. Stop looking for another layer with him. There is no other layer. Stop looking for one and stop giving a nigga the benefit of the doubt. Honestly, sticking around trying to see it through is only going to make you look silly. Like, stop manifesting seeing something that other men know for a fact isn't there. Because this man is very much the opposite of mysterious, so he shouldn't be looked at as so. And we see shit in like the first five minutes of you knowing him. That you're just a piece of meat to him and he's lonely enough and narcissistic enough to trap you. 
and because he has time. Remember, as people always have an immense amount of time on their hands. And time is the most valuable thing that a can take from you. Fuck money, fuck dinner, fuck bed romantics. Time is more valuable than all shit combined because all shit can get replaced. Also have to understand that a lot of these men are easily amused too. So with that being said, getting you knocked up and having you emotionally manipulated and devoted to him isn't a hard thing for him to do. Because they only try that shit that they know they can manipulate. Because they eliminate their whole roster in the beginning and just keep a couple after. It's easy to make anybody love blind and fall for you. They just sell you a dream. But of course you're not obligated to buy it. But surely it's easy to get you to buy if he knows that you're gullible enough to buy it. This is the epitome of misery loves company. Misery is cuddling with company right now. Control is very important to a good number of men in relationship. Some men will resort to extreme measures, including baby trapping, just to gain control over you and the relationship. The accidental pregnancy plan. This is the most common way men baby trap women. They usually claim that, oh, it was a mistake. It wasn't their intention to get you pregnant and then you are already pregnant. So they intentionally get you pregnant and claim it was a mistake. Men that use this pregnancy accidental plan usually claim that they are allergic to latex. They don't want to use condom or it irritates them and all that. And then you would hear them promise that they are good at the pullout game. They've never failed. They're good at it. Oh, let's use the pullout game. They want skin to skin, but they don't want condom. Their aim is to have sex with you without any barrier, anything preventing you from getting pregnant. If you decide to use the emergency pill after sex, they're most likely to convince you and make you see reasons why you shouldn't use it. They might tell you this is not good for your health. It does have side effects and all that. My boyfriend doesn't want to wear condom during sex because it doesn't feel good. But I don't want to go on birth control. What should I do? Does he want to have a baby? Why doesn't he want to wear a condom? Because there's a lot of you like, oh, condoms hurt. They feel like a rain jacket. Well, maybe he's not using the right condom. There's a lot of condoms out there. And so condoms get a really bad rap. But they actually, if you find one that fits and feel good and you use lube, you put a little bit of lube inside of the tip and you rub lube around it, like it's going to feel great. Using a condom is the way that you're going to have sex with him. So if he's not down with that, looks like you're going to be looking for a new boyfriend. Never let anyone pressure you into doing something you do not want to do, especially when it comes to your body and your sexual health. Because once a woman gets pregnant and has a baby, in the concept of the patriarchy's mind, she's now used goods. And no other man out there is going to want her. So now I have complete control over this woman. She can't go nowhere. She's mine forever she's used goods the used goods that are still getting hit on on the street every single five seconds it's like women can never be used goods we bad bitches but here is the thing if a man is serious about not having kids he will take all necessary precautions just to prevent that from happening if a guy pressures you to risk it to have sex with him risk it or he tells you that he, he will be fine with whatever the outcome is please don't listen to that guy that guy is just a red flag he's trying to manipulate you and that pregnancy is not accidental it's intentional from his own end or from a man's end some men go as far as sabotaging birth control this is a real thing some men do it it is a sneaky tactic they use on women they will discourage you from using contraceptives they'll be so quick to point out the long-term and short-term side effects of contraceptive they will tell you contraceptive does affect your body it messes with your hormone it's not something you should use if you look at it they do have a point but just bear in mind that they're not saying it because they really care they're saying it because they don't want you to have something that will prevent you from getting pregnant so men push it far they go to the length of tampering with the condom they make a little hole in the condom so their sperm can seep through and get you pregnant just have to be careful many women have severally reported situations where their partners made holes in their condom just to get them pregnant and they also reported cases where their partner lied and claimed that they pulled out while they didn't pull out they released their sperm into those women but they lied to them just to deceive them that they pulled out of them this isn't just deceptive it is a violation of trust so men use guilt tripping into parenthood to baby trap women guys think about how crazy this is when a dude traps you with a baby He's not only saying you are obligated to this relationship in some way, shape or form. He's saying you have to be a mother to my child and 
you're somehow obligated to be a mother to me as well because I know I can't take care of myself. Because if I could, I wouldn't need to obligate somebody to be in a relationship with me to reinforce my inability to do that. And before the guys go ahead and drop in the comments, acting crazy, acting, women do it too, women do it too. Yeah, women definitely do it too. But patriarchy creates a system where women are forced to marry and connect themselves to a man for their own survival or sustenance of their lives. We are just coming into a period where women are able to build for themselves and create through their own conscious will. Not that it hasn't always been like that, but because society is just starting to recognize that after completely demonizing free women. So yes, this conversation is more heavily focused on the men. And yes, when you do look at this conversation with some depth, finally, you can see that men also find ways to depend on women, but then flip the script to make them look like some kind of rebe rebellious, confident, like playboy or some just like uh, an identity that validates you being some traumatizing asshole and stopping you from taking the accountability that you need to take. So maybe if you can't make anybody's life better, you could at least just be a good human being. The thing that narcissists are extremely good at, and I mean extremely good at, is guilt tripping your ass into staying with them or coming back into their lives after they've ran you off or after you finally come to your senses and left them. Don't leave me, baby. You're the only one who understands me. You're the only one I feel this way with. You're the only one who can regulate me. You are the only one who I love and have always loved. We are soulmates. We are twin flames. I thought you said you'd never go, bitch. Why are you trying to run off on me? I mean, you said you'd never leave. And then you're like, well, shit, motherfucker's right. He couldn't even get to work on time unless I'm waking him up. Hell, he can barely tie his own shoes. Literally, you become the mother to the narcissist. What happens is the narcissist creates this dual mothership role with you. And they create this feeling as if you are their caretaker. It's, it's like trying to leave a child, right? How hard would it be to leave a child? It'd be damn near impossible, right? Uh, to have that motherly instinct, how could you leave your own child? They will get you feeling like you are their mother. Real talk. I start off by making their women feel comfortable and they make statements like we are a family already when are you going to have a child your age what do you think should we take it to the next level and all that not just that alone some jealous men use baby to trap women just to slow their progress if you're with a jealous partner and the partner is envious of your progress regarding your achievement in life that man might use that baby to trap you because he understands that once you're pregnant that is going to slow down your progress in life a lot of men do that and men that are jealous of other men taking their women from them can use baby trapping to get that woman stuck in that relationship because they believe that once a woman is pregnant it's more like oh she, i own her other men can't come close i've put this mark on her she's used other men might not be interested so just, they just use that baby trapping to make sure other men don't come close because they feel insecure and they are afraid that they might lose you so understand the reason why these abusive men do this is to trap just to trap you is to keep you stuck is to slow you down so many reasons why but that's the reason why they don't help you because if they help you you could probably invest in your business invest in yourself invest in your healing save for a holiday save some for some therapy you can move forward with your life if they help you that's why they're not helping you right so some guys are good at what they do good at this tactic the strategy of wanting to baby trap you by guilt tripping you they play the long game of slowly wearing you down and letting you know that okay the next thing to do the best thing to do is for us to start a family is for us to have a baby and you would think the guy is ready to have a baby to start a family you would think that guy is ready to cater for the baby should the baby come no he's not ready he's just being selfish he's just tending to his own selfishness he doesn't want to lose you he might be having insecurities and he wants to have total control of your life and the relationship please don't fall for that because you might think oh he wants a baby oh he's gonna be there no he's not gonna be there he's just going to trap you 
and leave everything for you for you to cater for that child because he doesn't really care all he cares about is making sure you don't leave him i don't like it but i understand why men trap women with babies for those y'all don't know that's a thing like i've had plenty of homies tell me like hey man i'm gonna get her pregnant then she's stuck crazy work crazy work but i though i don't like it i understand why because if you have a baby with me say me and i start tripping out i start doing weird stuff i start cheating i start lying as long as that baby is still you know in effect you always gotta mess with me i know plenty of women who who have babies with dudes it's terrible trash garbage right and i'll date them and we'll break up for whatever reason what happens is i me and that person separate but the baby daddy oh he still got access forever he's still in the mix forever and to be honest with you i'm just being honest if I'm a good guy. So if you told me like, hey, Rome, if you, you really care about this woman, I can't. You really want to be with this woman? Yeah. All you got to do is get her pregnant. Bro, that would be, that would be, I don't know, man. I don't know. That would be a tough thing. And if I was a trash individual, like I had no moral compass, I would definitely put that in consideration. I would be like, I, I, because you gotta deal with that dude forever. I mean, there are some women that just like cut it off and they're done, but a lot, a lot of women, they'll just keep trying to make him a dad or keep talking to him or, and all they did was be at the right place at the right time. Everything about them is trash. Every single aspect about them is trash. They shouldn't talk to them. They shouldn't be around them. But I know plenty of girls still talk to their baby daddy no matter what. He can cheat, lie, whatever he won't do. You still gonna talk to him. Just because he was at the right place at the right time. Crazy work. It's definitely not beneficial to be a good man. I'm, I'm like, I'm getting less and less fucking energy to do it anymore. Men also use the you complete me trap to baby trap women. This is a manipulative strategy men use on women. They usually paint a picture and sell it to her, make her believe, okay, if we come together as a family, if you have a baby, we're going to have this wonderful family. We're going to have this kind of lifestyle and all that. Please don't fall for it. Make statements like you are my soulmates. You complete me. We are incomplete without a baby. Something is missing. Having a child is going to make us feel complete. Just to persuade her into having a baby but make no mistake the complete me line they usually use is a setup line they just want to use you as their emotional investments and maybe trap you whenever they're down they'll have somewhere to run to oh i've got a baby mama somewhere then they run to that place and to you you have your child so it makes it easier for them to have access don't fall for it once the narcissist finds suitable supply they often try to trap you with a baby the narcissist sees children as a means to always have somewhere to lay their head. They always have supply. They will always have a party or a partner that they can argue with, torture, manipulate, and they can keep going in and out of their lives. Why? Because you have a child. A lot of men out there ignore women's boundary when it comes to having kids. Some women might have told them that I don't want to have kids, I don't want to have sex, or I can have sex but I don't want to have kids. But some men don't listen to that. They push that boundary and break the boundary. This is exactly why when you start setting boundaries and say, no, you are not going to do this around my child or no, you're not going to come in and out of my child's life. No, I would not accept the fact that you are just telling my child broken promises or you're future faking with my child. When you start setting boundaries and saying no in regards to the child, the narcissist will accuse you of not letting them see their kid. 
Now, of course, you know that this is not true because the narcissist does the bare minimum. You have a child with a narcissist. The narcissist had the child with you for fuel, for supply, to get their needs met, not because they wanted a loving, happy family. As a preventative measure, so ladies, if you meet a man who doesn't care about having kids quickly, early in the relationship, future faking you, love bombing you, and say, hey, let's have a kid with no commitment or promising commitment that you know will not come through, that is a red flag. Narcissists prefer people without boundaries so that they can easily manipulate you, belittle you, criticize you, crucify you, destroy your self-esteem from the inside out so that you do not stand up for yourself, speak up for yourself, defend yourself, advocate for yourself. And when you finally find the strength to speak up for yourself, do right by yourself, then comes the folks who side with the narcissist, whether they know you or not. It's important to sever ties with the narcissist, the perpetrator, and the people who side with that person. The people who doubt your story. The only person who can heal you is you. Find the right resources to guide you alongside your healing journey. And understand there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Good luck. Ladies, always pay attention to men that don't respect your boundaries. If you've clearly stated that you don't want to have kids or you're not ready for kids right now or you want to have kids later but not right now and this man consistently brings up conversations about kids or accidentally talk about kids that is a major red flag if he's in a way trying to pressure you into having kids even when you've stated that you don't want to have kids that is also a major red flag respecting boundaries is key in a healthy relationship when a man continuously pushes your boundary and ignores things you've said decisions you've made and he's trying to manipulate you into doing something you've said you don't want to do that man clearly does not care about how you feel he doesn't care about what you think all he cares about is him having control and making you do things his own way they can't respect your boundaries they gotta respect your goodbye it is abusive it is unacceptable and at some point you gotta be strong enough to say you know what i value me more than i value we and it's obvious that you don't value we you keep breaking the boundaries somebody that's constantly committing adultery on their spouse they don't respect boundaries so that could lead to a necessary ending unfortunately we enable bad behavior we enable it because we we let them break the boundary a hundred times before we do anything about it. So um, if your ex is a narcissist or a toxic person, they're 100% trying to trap you with a baby. Because if you allow your ex back into your life without any kind of consistent change behavior and you allow them to get you pregnant or get pregnant by you, then you are 100% falling into a narcissistic trap. Because if you get a narcissist pregnant or you get pregnant by a narcissist, they have, they're going to be in your life for the rest of your life. This is not just an 18 year deal. I think people think you have a deal with a, uh, you have to co-parent for 18 years. It's the rest of your life, y'all. Because that, that kid is going to grow up and have kids of their own. You're going to split time, with grandkids and stuff like that. You have to co-grandparent with a narcissistic person. So the choices you make in your youth, in your teenage years or your, your early adult years or your later adult years by having baby by, by toxic people, you have to deal with for the rest of your life. So if you haven't had any kids by this toxic person, do not, do not, do not, please. Because if you do, they're going to trap you for the rest of your life. At the end of the day, bringing a child into this world is not a joke, it's a serious business and shouldn't be taken lightly because a lot needs to be considered, a lot needs to be done for that child to be comfortable. You can't bring a child into this world and abandon the child because the father refused taking care of the child. When a man abandons a child, it flies, but a woman cannot easily abandon her child, especially if the child is still tender. An infant, a newborn baby, it's hard. You can't really abandon a baby like that, except you want to just throw away your baby. But in a normal setting, it's not easy. Women don't usually do that. So you have to think about this because if you allow that man to baby trap you, you're going to be trapped. 
no one is he's not going to rescue you he's just going to do that and fly away so you have to stand your ground stick to your boundaries and don't let him disrespect you by breaking your boundaries if you'd love to watch how some men date women because they want them to do domestic chores act like their mom and clean up for them click this video here and i will see you all in the next one thanks for watching bye